Hello, I'm Dr. Scott Conklin, and I teach violin at the University of Iowa School of Music. And the violin is a fantastic instrument because it very closely resembles the human voice and is very singing in its style. I look forward to working with you and helping you towards your goal of becoming a violinist. Before we learn how to play the violin, we must learn how to open our case and get our instrument out. I have my case right here on a very flat surface and I want to make sure that it's very, very safe because the instrument, the violin and the bow are both very, very delicate. And so I'm making sure that this is secure so where my case will not tip over. This particular case has some zippers and so I'm very careful as I unzip this case and I have some latches here as I open this up. And as I remove this right here, I have my violin. And I want to be very, very careful with it as I take it out. Now that I've taken my violin out of the case, I need to apply my shoulder rest. Some people play with shoulder rests, and some people play with sponges. Some people do not play with anything at all. But as for me, I do play with a shoulder rest, and I have it in my case. And my shoulder rest is in this pouch right here. And here is my shoulder rest. This particular shoulder rest has feet right here. And I put one pair of feet on at a time, and I'm very careful in doing so. And here's my violin and shoulder rest, and I'm ready to go. Now that I have my violin completely ready to go, I want to take out my bow. But before I do, I have to make sure that my violin is very safe and that I have two hands to be able to get my bow out very carefully. So I'm going to set my violin back down in the case and then I get out my bow. And here is my bow. Now right now my bow is very loose between the stick and the hair and I must tighten my bow. And if you look at this right here, this is the screw of the bow. And for me to tighten my bow, I, I have to imagine that my screw is like a clock. This being 12 o'clock, 1 o'clock, 2 o'clock, 3 o'clock. And that I need to turn in that direction. And as I do, it tightens the hairs of the bow. And you can see that the distance between the stick and the hair is further apart than where we started. I generally like to make sure that the width of my hair and bow stick are at least a pencil width apart. And that is how you get the bow out of the case and tighten your bow. Now that my bow is out and I've tightened my adjusting screw, I'm ready to rosin my bow. And rosin is an important ingredient to making the horsehair stick to the string of the bow. It helps us to produce a nice sound. And I have my rosin in my pouch right here in my case. And when I rosin my bow, I want to make sure that I get rosin on every part of my bow hair, make sure that I get this on every aspect of the bow. Now that we have finished playing, we must put our violin away and put it back in the case where it came from. And in doing so, I want to make sure my violin is very safe and secure. And I'm just going to loosen the adjusting screw of my bow 
moving it back in time, like the clock face, 3 to 12. Notice it's very loose. And I very carefully put the tip in the case and then the frog. There. And I'm very gentle with my instrument. And I have to take off my shoulder rest. And I put it back in the pouch where it came from. Now one thing I would recommend that you do if your case has room for it is to have a little cloth to clean your instrument. And I like to wipe away some of the rosin and some of the rosin dust underneath to make sure my violin is very clean and shiny as I experienced when I opened the case. And so it's ready to go for the next time I play. And again, I'm very gentle and safe in putting this back. And I cover it. And you have to make sure that every buckle and snap is fastened. And I am ready to go. And I've packed my violin. Rest position is kind of like holding a guitar. And then you put your arm over the chin rest like this. And this is rest position. To get into playing position, I have to make sure that I do something with my feet. And I recommend that you put your feet together and then think about fanning your feet out. And then take a step out of your left foot. So my feet have set me up, my foundation is ready to go. Now we're going to take the violin from rest position to playing position. And I'm going to bring the violin down so where it's resting on my shoulder, which is a mass that is supporting my violin from underneath. And I'm facing you right now, and my nose is pointing directly to you. But I must turn my head so where my jaw and my chin meet the chin rest. And I'm going to naturally let my head weight sink into my chin rest. Now, if you look very closely, I have my violin in rest position and I do have my chair behind me and it is very important to make sure that you actually land in your chair as you are sitting. It is important to make sure that your spine or posture is lengthened and tall. And I'm also on the edge of my seat, not leaning back in my chair. Now my violin is currently in rest position and we're going to take it into playing position as we did standing. and we are ready to play. I'm currently in rest position, but to take my instrument to guitar position, I have to make sure that my left hand is supporting the neck and that my right arm is free to pizzicato or pluck the string. Next, we are going to learn the strings of the violin. Now, my violin is currently in guitar position and I'm going to show you these strings by using pizzicato or plucking the strings. Before I do, I must anchor my index finger 
on the underside of the fingerboard and I pluck with my thumb. And the string that is closest to my nose is the G string. The next string is the D string, followed by the A string, and lastly, the E string. Now I'm going to take the violin up into playing position, and I'm going to show you these strings from a different angle. I must anchor my thumb on the corner of the fingerboard and I extend my index finger and I use it to pizzicato and pluck the string. And we'll start with the G string, followed by the D string, the A string, and the E string. I'm going to show you these strings with the bow, and here is the G string. Here's the D string. The A string. And the E string. And those are the strings of the violin.